Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 4-90 that is taken from chapter number 4, Axial Load and book name is Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler. And this comes under the topic of stress concentration. So statement is determine the maximum axial force P that can be applied to this steel plate. The allowable stress is 21 KSI. So you can see this is a steel plate clear that is subjected to axial loading P clear and the allowable stress is 21 ksi so all the dimensions are given this height is 5 this height is 2.5 thickness is 0 0.25 inch the diameter of hole is 1 inch and this fillet radius is 0 0.25 inch so you have to find the maximum load that p that can be applied on this uh, steel plate so we know that maximum or allowable stress is equal to k into sigma average why k because this is under the category of stress concentration factor so we'll find k now you can see you have fillet as well as hole so allowable stress is given so we will assume assume failure occurs at filler fillet failure occur at fillet so we will find p for that so first we will need this stress concentration factor k and how you will find k so you can see this graph and the figure that is shown over here so for that we will need r by h value and w by h so we will write r by h and w by h what is w by h so w is the maximum height and h is this smallest height so w or maximum height is 5 and smallest height is 2.5 which will give us 2 clear and what about r by h so r is fillet which is 0 0.25 fillet radius and h is the minimum height which is 2.5 clear and from here you will get 0 0.5 one now you have r by h which is 0 0.1 and w h is 2 so r by h is 0 0.1 is this so if you draw vertical line from 0 0.1 so it will intersect intersect w by h2 and w by h2 is this graph if i zoom it so w by h2 is this graph so it will intersect somewhere here so you can see this will give you k is equal to 2.4 k is equal to 2.4 so i will write it k is equal to 2.4 now we have allowable stress is equal to k into average stress so allowable stress is uh, 21 ksi so this is 21 ksi not megapascal 21 ksi clear so 21 into 10 is to power 3 or you should uh, uh, write it 21 ksi so 21 k the unit will be also in ksi so 21 is equal to k which is 2.4 into sigma average sigma average will be equal to p divided by area now what is the area so this will be the cross-sectional area so i will write it 21 is equal to 2.4 multiplied by p is not known and area is 2.5 multiplied by thickness is 0 0.25 okay so when you solve this p will be equal to 21 multiplied by 2.5 multiply by 0 0.25 divided by 2.4 so you will get the value of p will be equal to 5.47 kips that is calculated based on this fillet now we will assume failure for hole so assume failure at hole so we know that allowable stress or maximum stress is equal to k into sigma average so we'll find k for this hole and for k for finding k hole we need 2r by w now 2r is diameter of hole 
which is one inch and uh, 2R uh, 2R divided by W and W is 5 which is the maximum height so 1 divided by 5 which will equal to 0 0.2 okay so 0 0.2 at the value of 0 0.2 we draw a vertical line which will intersect this graph clear so you can if you take a horizontal line from this end so you will get this is 2 this is 2.4 5 this is 2.5 2.5 uh, 2.5 2.55 and this is 2.6 so k is equal to 2.45 now put the value in this formula allowable stress is 21 k is 2.45 multiply by sigma average which is p divided by the area now there is a hole in this plate so what we will take is that we will subtract the hole from this 5 so height is 5 minus the diameter of hole is 1 and thickness is 0 0.25 so from here you will get this p will be equal to 21 multiply by 4 multiply by 0 0.25 divide by 2.45 and when you calculate it p will be equal to 8.75 kip now you have two values of p one is based on the fillet and another one is based at the hole so we will choose p will be equal to 5.47 kip which is the smallest value and the safer and that can be applied to this steel plate and that was all about this problem 4-90. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.